It's all too common to see people performing half reps in the gym. Whether intentionally or inadvertently, we easily criticize those engaging in partial repetitions as lazy, having poor form, or ego lifting. However, the issue of range of motion in training isn't as straightforward as it may seem. In fact, new research has come out shedding light on how partial reps can actually help you build more muscle, and that's exactly what I want to talk about in this video. Video. But first, what exactly are partial reps? Partial reps involve executing a movement where the exercise is performed over a limited range of motion. Simply put, partial reps entail performing an exercise while omitting a portion of the full range of motion. And so far, we found four studies looking at the rates of muscle growth when doing partial reps. Specifically, these studies compared the initial part of the range versus the final portion portion of the movement. This 2023 study, for example, compared two groups. One group trained in the lengthened range from 0 to 68 degrees of elbow flexion, while the other trained in the shortened range from 68 to 135 degrees. They found that the lengthened partials produced more overall biceps growth. This 2021 study comparing lengthened partials and shortened partials also found greater muscle growth from performing long length partials. This study wanted to see if training the quadriceps, specifically the vastus lateralis, at longer lengths would improve muscular adaptations compared to training it at shorter lengths. Not surprisingly, they also saw better muscle growth when training at 40 to 90 degrees of knee flexion compared to the shortened training protocol. This study, published in the European Journal of Sport Science, compared quadriceps growth from performing leg extensions in three ranges of motion, lengthened partials, shortened partials, and full range of motion. They found that the group who performed only the bottom half of the range saw greater rates of muscle growth. So it seems that partial reps in the lengthened range of motion of the muscle produces better rates of hypertrophy. This is because when muscles are trained in a stretched position, they produce passive mechanical tension which triggers a muscle growth response. This also explains why why most of the studies saw more growth only in the distal regions of the muscle since stretch training results in an increase in the length of the muscle fibers. This is opposed to contraction mediated hypertrophy which results in an increase in the thickness of muscle fibers. This stems from active mechanical tension which is produced when the muscles undergo force production. While the studies mentioned highlight the benefits of length and partial rep training, it's crucial for us to maintain a balance perspective. According to this 2023 systematic review comparing partial and full range of motion resistance training, using full range of motion still is the superior choice for increasing muscle size. This is because apart from stretch mediated hypertrophy, there's also contraction mediated hypertrophy, and the results of both lead to total muscle growth which should be our aim. In my opinion, we should not dismiss the synergistic effects on hypertrophy of the shortened portion of each rep in combination with long length training. Thus, the majority of your sets should still prioritize a full range of motion to maximize growth. However, integrating long length partials into your routine as an advantage training method would indeed offer additional benefits. This can be implemented as a separate set or towards the end of a set where you've reached failure and can only complete partial reps. Incorporating lengthened partials in these instances could provide a valuable and novel stimulus for muscle growth. In summary, performing your exercises with a full range of motion should remain the cornerstone of your training with the addition of partial reps toward the end of your set or workout session. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you're not resting 3 minutes in between sets, watch this video. In it, we discuss why short rest periods could be killing your muscle gains and what the science actually says about longer rest periods for muscle growth. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.